we'll be making remarks, but the, my remarks will be probably very short because I'm, I'll be preempting what the presentation will be all about. But of course, my remark will touch upon the, the fact that we're all very appreciative, myself and the Senate President and the leadership of the House, on the role that the, the, the governors have played in our emergence as both Senate President and Speaker of the Ninth Assembly. Your, your roles in no way, uh, no little way played a major part in the success we recorded um, at the elections. And so we're, we're, we're very grateful to you for this. Uh, I'm not sure what the legislative agenda that the Progressive Forum is bringing, but let me use this opportunity to say that we have our legislative agenda that will be unveiling on Friday. Um, which we intend to get across to you formally, but I'm using this occasion to also invite the governors to uh, witness the legislative agenda of the House of Representatives, which will be unveiled on, uh, in uh, Musa Yaradua at 10 o'clock Friday. Now, whether or not we may need to tweak it or amend it later on based on the presentation that, that, that is being going to be made today, we'll be more than happy to do so because we're going to be working in unison, we're going to be working together as one party and as one government. And whilst addressing that issue of one party, one government, um, I, I will just touch on one thing that did bother, I guess myself and the Senate President, was the issue of uh, uh, the crisis in the Bauchi State and, uh, and the Edo State. And whilst we were able to successfully resolve the issue in, um, in Bauchi State, which is an opposition states, so to speak. Well, unfortunately, we were not able to resolve that of Edo State. And um, I think it's one of the things we should uh, look at and uh, prioritize in figuring out how to constitutionally address that issue. For those of us on this side, uh, the National Assembly, um, I a little bit perturbed and surprised that um, we would, a judgment will be given against the explicit constitutional roles of the National Assembly as prescribed in section 12 of the Constitution, which is written in very unambiguous language. Um, we, we, we're a bit concerned that, uh, uh, of course, there are three arms of government and we will, to serve notice, be going to court on this matter to resolve it, not just for this moment, but for the future, so that issues like that do not, um, do not come up again. Uh, in, the, in the House of Representatives, uh, we have adopted a theme, a theme, uh, nation building, a joint task, and that's what we call it. And that's how we operate in the National Assembly, irrespective of uh, party. The, we have not blurred party lines, but we've chosen to, to, to come together when it comes to national issues, in spite of whatever political ideologies or differences that we may exhibit. And uh, we believe that as one party, uh, uh, there's so much expected of us in. Uh, in, um, in this in this government, we are going to need one another. It's going to have to be a symbiotic relationship between the governors and the legislators, and that's what we look forward to. We will probably have a more robust conversation after the press has gone out, and uh, we'll have the presentation of the of the governors' forum. Thank you very much. All aides can start moving out.